today I'm going to talk to you about a very very important thing and that's chocolates hi my name is Nina and welcome to my channel so today I'm going to be doing a huge Christmas chocolate haul my sister lives in England and she was coming home for the Christmas holidays and she brought us lots and lots of chocolate just like a personal Santa so I'm gonna start off with like the most basic chocolates Oops. <laughs> You cannot fill your lap with too many chocolates. <laughs> and okay, so the first one, the first one that I have is two packs of Snicker bars, of mini Snicker bars. I love the combination of peanuts and chocolates, and I like these. These are two small packs with four, four bars of chip Snickers in each packet. So yay! <laughs> now the second in this whole thing is Mars. Mars is my personal favorite chocolate. I love it. I made my father addicted to this chocolate. I, I eat it so much that even my father is addicted to it because of me. So Mars bars. I love the taste of caramel. Give me caramel and chocolate any day. Now the third pack that I have is Twix. I think Twix has a crunchy, wafery flavor, doesn't it? Even this pack has like one pack has four bars of Twix. So a total of eight bars of Twix chocolate. Which one should I go for next? So many options, I can't decide. Um, I think I'll go with these, which I'm not even sure if I'm allowed to have. <laughs> these are two liquor chocolates. One is Jim Bean Bourbon Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey and the other one is Contru. I have no idea how to pronounce this name so yeah Contru or whatever it is. These are two packs of liquor chocolates. It's 150 gram each I think. Yeah it is. So these are liquor chocolates that I'm not sure if I'm allowed to have because it's not legal. So I think this is gonna go to somebody else. Move so I'm just gonna keep it aside because what's the point, right? <laughs> Ooh! You can actually smell it! <laughs> okay, moving on. We have the best part. Moving on, we have the best. This is Lint Irish Cream Chocolate. This is so good. I've already had some. And this is really, really good. This, I love it. This is Lint Lindor Irish Cream. And I think I'm actually going to eat one. Because, you know, it's like my favorite. Mmm, this is so good. I mean, a little bit of heaven. Mmm, yep. Mm-hmm. Very good. Mm. So good. We're gonna throw this away in the bin. I missed it. I also have a lot more of Lindo, Lint Lindor ice, uh, ice cream. Wow. Lint Lindor chocolates. This huge pack, it has four boxes of Lint Lindor. Two are of the irresistibly smooth milk. And one is the assorted chocolate truffles with a smooth melting filling. These are four packs. Two of the milk chocolate and two of the... Two of this milk chocolate. And two of the assorted chocolate. Now I also have one more box of this. Where I have two of the milk chocolates again. And... Two of the hazelnut lint lindors. I have had the lint ones because I have one more open box of this and it's really good but I don't think it competes with the Irish cho Irish what is it called? I don't remember. Whatever the Irish one was really good. Even I, I think I really like this one. If I had to rate like which one I like the best, it would be the Irish one, then the hazelnut one, and then the milk chocolate one. That's the rating that goes. It's really good. I can eat the Irish one. I think we got like one kilogram of that chocolate and we've already eaten about half, half of it. Half of it is gone and we don't even know where. 
The next ones are like two like loose packs, packets rather than boxes. We have one M&M. I love M&Ms. These are the milk M&Ms. This is the 440 gram of pack. I also have one more pack that I've already opened up and kept in a container and it's already been finished like halfway through. <laughs> so I'm not going to include that in the haul. But I have one packet of uh, M&Ms and one packet of Maltesers teasers. I haven't really had these before. What I uh, what I usually have are the like the regular classic Maltesers that are like little chocolate wafer balls. But this is a bit different. In the description it says milk chocolate wrapped around crispy honeycomb pieces. It tastes a little bit different than the... Yeah, I think it tastes a little bit different than the regular Maltesers that are round in shape. Like look at this. This is not round. This is like a... You know, like a... This is what it like looks like. Like this is the shape. This is like flat from underneath and like round. This is like one of those chocolates that you might get in boxes or something. What boxes? Yeah, like boxes. And... It tastes different than the regular Maltesers because those are like completely wafers. And this is different. I like it. Now the next group of chocolates that I have, and all I've never tasted like any of these before and this is something The first easy. one is Mint Intense. It's a dark chocolate. Can you see it? This is a Mint Intense dark chocolate. I've never tasted it. Ooh, mint! Huh. Is it gonna taste like after it? I'm not sure. Even that's a mint chocolate, isn't it? I think it is. So I think it's gonna taste a little bit after it. So let's see if it's better than that or not. I've never tasted. Excited to try this one. The next one that I have is Lime Intense. Lime Intense. I've never actually eaten a combination of like lime and chocolate in like a chocolate bar. I have added lemon zest in plenty of cakes. But I have no idea how it's going to taste. I think I'm pretty sure I have no idea how any of those chocolates are going to taste like. So pretty excited to see what it tastes like. The next one is hazelnut with roasted something. I didn't read it. Hazelnut with whole roasted hazelnuts. I do like hazelnuts and chocolates. It's like, I really like this combination. I have tried hazelnuts like just whole roasted hazelnuts just raw but they don't not taste as good as they do when they're combined with chocolate the next one is blueberry intense this is a combination of dark chocolate with almond slivers and blueberry blueberries is my favorite fruit of all time I can eat blo uh, blueberry. <laughs> I can eat blueberry for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It's my favorite fruit of, fruit of all time. So I'm gonna be really excited. I think I'm gonna be excited. It's like I'm excited about each and everything. Like I love food and chocolate so much. I'm excited about trying each of these chocolates because, especially because these are some new flavors that I've never tried before. That is why I'm repeatedly saying I'm so excited to try. So excited to try. And this one, this is a mystery for me. A complete mystery because this is a chili chocolate chili chocolate like is it gonna be spicy or is it gonna be sweet like can I try this should I oh I can't I have to share this so I can't open it right now because you know sharing is caring it's Christmas share with your family that's a nice rule you can't you know just eat it all even if you want to you have to be nice otherwise you're gonna be on the naughty list and that's about it, I think. I have done all of the chocolate haul. These are all the chocolates and I am so like looking forward to it. Like I'm going to switch off this recording. I'm going to take all these chocolates with my family and just keep it on the table. And I'm going to jump right into it and eat like at least taste everything. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I would really like to know what is your favorite chocolate. Please write down in the comments. What is your favorite chocolate? And please give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. And please subscribe to my channel if you want to watch more. Thank you. Bye. And I'm going to eat everything. <laughs>